Take one man who never learned to lie. Place him in the steaming jungles of South America and let him discover a secret he knew no one would believe. That's the story of The Unsuspected, taken from the files of John Steele, adventurer. This is John Steele with another story of action and suspense, designed to please those of us who can only dream of adventure. The other day, I happened to run across an article about the fabulous country of the Amazon Basin. Well, it brought back pleasant memories and the name of an old acquaintance, Charles Maloney. I've never been able to think of one without thinking of the other and of what happened that summer. But here's Charles to tell you, as only he can. Charles? I guess everybody has some kind of code they live by. And that's swell if you don't get blinded by it. You've got to learn that there are times when the things you believe in have to be forgotten if you don't want to hurt someone. But it ain't easy. At least ways not for me. I guess it really started the day I signed on to work as a surveyor on the Great Diagonal. That's a projected direct air route across the Amazon jungles from Caracas to Rio de Janeiro. My outfit was laying out an emergency airfield in the Mato Grosso country. One night, we were all gathered in the thatched hut that served as a bar. Tony and Hans, Jose, and, and Alicia. As usual, Tony was razzing my buddy Hans about making more money than anyone, and Jose was pestering me. Say, <laughs> uh, you will go. No? No. Why? I told you why, Jose. See, but it is the so little. For the thousandth time, No. Why not you not go with me, huh? Why should I go on a wild goose chase in the jungles, especially with you? It is not the goose chase. Besides, I got work to do. You can get off. Oh, get someone else, Jose. No. Because they won't do it either. No. Same here. You, the only one. Look, Jose, it's about time you accepted the truth. Huh? About Bill Harris. You know, what? I've always told the truth to everyone, no matter who they were. See? I'm telling it to you now. Bill Harris is dead. No. So lay off me, will you? I don't believe... Until I see with my own eyes. Okay, you see, but I'm not looking for any dead man. Please, Senor Charlie. Oh, don't hang on to me. It's Alicia. She, she would talk to you. I've already told her the same thing. She wait at the table now. You come over. Oh, okay. Bueno, you good guy, Charlie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Charlie. Yeah, hon. Come here. In a minute. Hey, you gotta yell for some help, fellas. Are you see? <laughs> you, you, you speak for my Alicia first, senor, yes? Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Uh, all right, then we're gonna come over there. Yeah. Please, 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 come senor. <laughs> please, hey, look, senor. it won't take about just one minute, Jose. But, but, please, Tony. I want to prove the point. What point, Tony? We say that Hans, uh, he's a saver, he's a money to go back to the United States and make a marriage, yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is right, so. <laughs> Who is she, Charlie? Who is she? Why, she? ask me. Well, you're the only one who goes to town with Hans when he sends that money he makes, it. You know who she is. Hans has never even been in the States. Surely. Sends his money to his father in Germany. Uh, how do you like a star like that? What's the matter with him? You don't know? I only told him what they asked. It would have been better to say they were right, perhaps. Well, it wasn't so. It would have made them all happy if you say what they want. Oh, why should I lie for anyone? It does not matter. If they you... asked for the truth, I told them. They were but having fun. They all walk out on me. Not me? Like it was a plague or something. Let us sit down. I just don't get it. Is there something the matter with me, Alicia? No. This isn't the first time they've acted like... They do like... not understand you. Yeah. Is why I most want you to go with Papa. Oh, I do. You're don't. honest, no matter what happens. But that trip's ridiculous. Not to Papa. You know, as well as I do, if there was any chance that Bill Harris's plane came down safely, the search parties would have found them. Hmm. But Papa was so great a friend of Bill. Oh, so what? Can't you see how he wastes away these two months? Yeah. Even if Papa do not find Bill, at least he will be happier knowing he tried to. Well, I'm not going on any jungle hunt with Jose. Charles. Yeah. If you go with Papa, it will bring your friends back to you. Yeah? Hmm? Why? 
They all have great respect for Jose. They would like you if you make him happy. Yeah. And in the week you're gone, they will forget tonight. Think so? Si. And I'd be happy, too. Yeah. Maybe it wouldn't be a wasted trip, as far as I'm concerned. Eh? Okay, Elisa. You will? Yeah. Muchas gracias, Charlie. Back to my hut. None of the guys said anything. They all just hit the bunks, but I didn't go to sleep right away. I wish I told Alicia how it made me feel that she hadn't gone off when Tony and them had. She was different. By morning, the news had gotten around. Everyone was wishing Jose luck while I loaded the boat. And I thought a lot of the old Spaniard because of his devotion to Bill Harris. We shoved off at 9 o'clock. With John Steele, our foreman, handling the outboard. In midstream, John looked at Jose, and he jerked his thumb toward the south, upstream. Now I knew he was crazy. Bill had headed his plane north toward Manaus. Steele followed orders, and late that afternoon, we pulled into the bank and started to unload. So hot you could actually see me. We got a lot of stuff, Jose. Si, yes. senor Steele. We're going to bury part of it here? No. Oh, we can't carry it all. No, sir. Oh, don't be crazy in this jungle. Everything is important for a couple of weeks, three. I didn't say anything about no two weeks. Maybe no be two weeks. Never know. Here's your quinine supply. We don't I'll carry that. That's all. That's the thing, Alistair. We see you maybe in a week. What's your rush? We must uh, make start while still daylight. And I have to get back to camp. Oh, another hour won't matter. I have to make another trip down river. For four, on. Oh, Hans has I'm taking him to Santari. A British freighter was there. I didn't know he was going there. After last night? I... I didn't know. Too late now. See you in a week, Jose. Right here. See, si, if not then, one week more. Right. Two weeks. It's the latest. Come on, Charlie. Yes, yeah, sure. Sure. <laughs> We got this way, Charlie. Okay, it doesn't matter which way we go, if you ask me. Here's a good spot to start in jungle. Animal trail. Fifty miles out of the way to start. Where do you think so? Bill was headed north. No. It reports so. I saw come. him when he took off. Yeah? He turned over jungle and head up river. You saw him head this way? That is so. Why didn't you tell them when they were searching? I tried to. But they don't believe. He was supposed to go north. That's what everyone thinks. Jose, no different. Uh, maybe you got something, Jose. See, si. Aripuna is closer. You think he was headed for Aripuna? See. Si. Why? Don't know? Well, why didn't we just fly to Aripuna, then? He did not make it there. Not yet. Well, then if he didn't, he went down in this territory, huh? We see. Man, that'd be the thing. Huh? Finding Bill? Gee. Set me up. Me too. <laughs> Not the same way. Ah. Uh, he's fast running river. Ah, uh, we call them creeks where I come from. We can wait it. No. That's not over waste. He's filled with the run. Cannibal. See. Maybe we find three fell over. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, here's one, Jose. Bueno, you got to sit down and shimmy across with this load I'm packing. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Jose! Hey! Hey, Steve! Make it to the bank, Jose. Quick! Hey, Steve, Charlie. Come on! Is that root? Yeah. <laughs> That, uh, that log break. Uh, Low skull. That way to start. Senor, uh, your pack is gone. Uh, fell off, washed away before I could grab him. We, uh, 
He's quite nine, too. Yeah. Hey, we can't do it without that draft. You're packing. Come on. We've got to catch Steele before he gets away. John! John! This is Spud Jose. Si. Senor Steele. He's gone. Yeah. Yeah. Quite a way down the river, but Steele wasn't in sight. I wanted to camp right there and wait for John's return in a week and make a raft and float downstream. But Jose wouldn't hear of it. We couldn't go on, not in these jungles without quinine. There was no arguing with Jose. For four days, we hacked our way through the steaming jungle. The rain never stopped. Neither did the chatter of monkeys. It was like we were caught in a nest of a thousand snakes. Hacking. Hacking at vine. Uh, Finally, we worked our way under a bunch of broadleaf plants like umbrellas. You, uh, you want to eat nothing, Senor? Uh, I don't care. Well, I don't care. Okay, we eat. Now what? This bird I shot before. At least it's not hard to... Steal a couple of hours till night comes. So? We eat, then go. Not me. Me. I'm worn out. Me older man than you. But so what? Okay, Senor Charlie. We stay. Uh, sure. Hmm. Rain. Huh? Rain, rain. Too much. Yeah. Slow us down. Makes me sleep. Why so? I like when I was a kid. Staying on the roof. Senor Charles. Senor, you, you would speak. Huh? Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Just, just speaking. Oh. Why don't we go back, Jose? Back? There ain't a chance of finding anything in this jungle. No, no, go back. It's only two days till Steel comes back. We can just make it with luck. No, go back. You must find Beetle. You know you're not going to. You must. You know, I've been thinking, Jose. You, did you tell Alicia what you saw? What do you mean? About Bill turning his plane south? Yes, not. Why? Huh? I, uh, I just not do. You really want to find Bill? Well, you think I do this? I've been wondering about that. Never knew you were such a close friend of Bill before this happened. We're much close. Yeah, yeah. Sure there isn't something else? What do you mean, Shirley? Well, it seems funny you're the only one who doesn't think Bill's dead. Maybe you think too much, senor. No one's going all this trouble unless it's more than friendship. <laughs> you, nobody's I... going to slug me. You one smart fellow, eh? I'll show you the... Where'd you get that? I... I shoot, man, who say... Oh, forget it, forget it. Hey, get on your high horse. I didn't mean anything by it. No? No. Oh. Jungle's getting big. See, we got to stick together, Jose. If we both want to get back... <laughs> Find you, Bill. Find you. Hey, Jose, wake up. 
Bill, I know you hate pride. Wake up, Jose. Bill. Yeah, this is Charlie. Come on, wake up. Uh, 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 you're dreaming. Dreaming? Oh. Uh. <coughs> What's the matter, Jose? No feel so good. You've got a fever. Nothing. <coughs> Malaria. No, nothing, wrong. We're going back after we lost the quinine. You got to find Bill. <coughs> nothing wrong with Jose. Well, we're starting back. No. We are. We go on now. Well, I'm not. Okay, you go back. Jose, go on. You can't do that. See, I do. You're out of your head. You're having a chance fighting malaria when we're wearing ourselves out, hacking through the jungle. I find Bill. Look at us. All cut up, scratches, getting ulcers already. We're going back, see? You go. Both of us. See, Jose, trouble later. Uh, I'm... Sorry, I can't. Jose, sorry, too. You're no good. No? No good for jungle. And I don't want to be. Only reason I came was because of Alicia. See, si. Wouldn't have done it otherwise. Make her happy. Well, I've got to stick by you. Take care of you for her. <laughs> so you go where I go. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned, you could stay here and rot. You always say what she is on your mind. Yeah. I've known all along what I thought of you. Maybe Jose is the same way, too. Well, good. The record's straight. Get your pack on. Are we going to eat? Could have found Ray Wood first. Okay. Wish <laughs> I had a coffee right now. Oh, yeah. Drown out this stinking milk for a few minutes. Gee. Once it isn't raining. We'll find Ray Wood an open spot. Yeah. Okay. I don't think she's wrong, senor. On the tree limb ahead. What? The panther. Yeah. No can see. Wait till I get my gun on the No can see. Stand still. Your eyes are playing me. Jose! Crazy. He sees you! He's jumping! Hey! 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 Go away soon. Get up to that clearing and rest. See. Hey, come on. Put your arm around my shoulder. A little bit more. up something to eat. Maybe a panther steak. I'm not hungry now. You gotta eat. Keep your strength. Here's some dry wood. Senor Shelly. Yeah? Senor Shelly. Senor. Yeah, come and come and get steamed up. My eyes, they no fool me, no. What? Look, in valley over there. Yeah, look for what? Wing tip of airplane. There. There were three taps where it goes. I don't think. Wait a minute. Yeah, I think it is a wing. It is Bill. We find him. Maybe we have Jose. Hey, see, we must go. Well, you can't. Jose, go now. Get the bill. Zeno. Zeno. Yeah, yeah. It's a fine bill. It's not a time if you stayed back. Let me show you now, Beetle. I find you. That's the dragon. I find you, Beetle. I mean, probably it's kind of. I find you, Beetle. I hope so. Beetle! Beetle! Close enough yet. (laughs) Sorry, I'll get it. Beetle! I'm not there yet. Come on, put an arm around my shoulder. Leg hurt. Fell on it. You. You lie, Mr. Charlie. Lie? 
I don't lie about anything. You know, Colonel, if Jose here to die. Yeah, you're making sense for once. Huh? Get out of your mind for hours. What I say. Nothing, nothing. I think I see the plane now. Bueno. Yeah, yeah, that's it. No see Bill. Doesn't look like there was any fire. Maybe. Maybe. He got out. Bill! Bill! He ran somewhere. Bill! No answer. Stay here. No. Probably in the plane. Look for food. I didn't answer. We wait. Yeah. Look in plane first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Natural. But you know not so. No one. No one guessed. Now I kill you too. No, you don't. Kill you. Hey, hey, kill that gun. No, I got it. Your knife. Better when close. Stop it, Charlie. Get someone. Get you now. Hey. Pull trigger. Pull trigger. Pull trigger. Pull trigger. Better, Charlie? Yeah, I guess so. What happened? You passed out. How'd I get here? When you didn't show up the second week, I came after you. Jose. I buried him. He I tried to... I saw it all. You saw? I tried to stop it, but couldn't cut through the jungle in time. I couldn't help it. Yeah, I know. I had to. I'd never have believed it if I hadn't heard. No. No one would. Makes it tough. What do you mean? Explaining what happened. No one will believe the truth. Well, they'll believe you. Not where Jose is concerned. They think too much of him. Yeah. I can fix it up with the rest of the camp. Well, what are we worrying about, then? Alicia. Alicia. Only you can handle that. Yeah, but I... I, I... It'll wreck her life. Why? You always tell the truth. 
When she finds her father was a murderer... I know what you mean. Well, that's your problem. Yeah, yeah. Almost there. What are you going to do? I don't know. Bill. Yes. Oh, and he stayed there till the rescue party come. Not exactly. No? Tell me. Well, Charles. Uh, Alicia, your, your father, Jose. See? See? He, uh, he died on the way back. Sorry, Alicia. We we all feel the same way about Jose. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Alicia. Why? How did it happen? Your uh, your father died of of malaria. I'll tell the rest of the camp. See you later. My lady? Yeah. How? Oh, how could he? Well... You took quinine alone. We lost it. Lost? How? I was carrying it. And... You? Yeah, and I fell into a stream and lost you it. You lost it? I couldn't be helped. When? First day. And you didn't come back? Well, no. You forced my papa to go on like that? Well, no, he was... You one. should have come back then. Yeah. I guess so. You make him die. Oh, listen no. to me. I don't never want to hear you again. Never. Never. I... Uh, best way. Yeah. I guess that was the best way. Title, The Unsuspected, the story of a man who told a lie and lost the only person he really cared for, but one peace of mind. If you like Charlie's story, friends, why not come back next week? I'll have a man who looked for sanctuary in a murky swamp and found the answer to his escape in a buried treasure chest. I like to call it quagmire. So until next week, then, this is John Steele saying a life of adventure is yours for the asking wherever you find it. Only, don't look for it. It may find you. Well, goodbye and good hunting. John Steele Adventurer is produced by Robert Monroe, directed by Elliot Drake and written by Roy L. Dietz. Ross Martin was heard as Charles. Also in the cast were Jim Bowles and Bryna Rayburn. John Steele is played by Don Douglas. Musical effects were created by Doc Whipple. Your announcer is Ted Melly. Remember, next week, Mutual presents Quagmire, another story of suspense and action from the files of John Steele, adventurer. <laughs>